What's up guys, DJ Silken. Wanna show you guys how to do some basic scratches. Pretty much, uh, if you've been mixing and you wanna learn how to scratch, this is the time. I think it's very important for every DJ to know how to scratch. It sets you apart from many other DJs that don't know how to scratch. And you'll be recognized as that DJ. So, don't say, oh, I don't, I don't scratch, I think it's stupid. There's ways to put scratches in your mixes to make it sound very tight and legit. So, that being said, let's start with the baby scratch. And the baby scratch is pretty much uh, a scratch that you go move the sound forward and back without using the cross fader or the up faders. You're not cutting or anything like that, you just move it forward and back. Now, here's the trick though. Find yourself the sound. You always want to start your baby scratch from the very start of the sample. In this case, this is what it sounds like. And you move it back and forth. Okay, so this is what it sounds like if you're, you know, you're going to do a baby scratch somewhere in the middle of the uh, sample. And this is how it sounds like from the beginning. So let's put a beat to it, and this is what it sounds like. I'm using EPMD. Let's try to add variations, meaning instead of just going back and forth, you want to go slow, you want to go fast, you want to have a little bit of variations, okay? So, I'm going slow. slow. Now let's add a beat. There's another thing. You can do the baby scratch, but I want you to do some pauses. That will add some funk to your baby scratches. So pretty much you go like this. Alright, those are some pauses. You know, just try to be creative. So those are like the few tricks you could do with the baby scratch. And I don't want you guys to skip on the baby scratch. It's very simple. It's very basic. Anybody can do it with a little bit of practice. 